Hi, Lauren Delsack here. I'd like to do an update on the Draconic chart. It's been about 11 or 12 years since I uploaded the Draconic chart series of videos. If you haven't seen them, there's a link in the description below that will take you to the playlist of those videos. Thank you to everyone who's contacted me over the years um, with their enthusiasm about the Draconic chart. I appreciate that and I hope that um, you continue to use it and are amazed by it. I've been using and studying the Draconic chart for about 15 years now and I'm still miffed and amazed by how it works in terms of our personality structure and even our physical attributes. You know, when I meet people, uh, and we do this as astrologers, we immediately pick up a sign that's coming through either their physical attributes or their personality that's coming through or the way that they're projecting themselves. And always when I go to look at that sign, it's either the draconic sun, the draconic moon, or the draconic ascendant. So this draconic chart is somehow uh, structured within within ourselves. How that is, how that works with the natal, it's amazing that the two work together. I have also seen some comments by other astrologers that are working with the draconic chart that are defining it as our unconscious motivations or uh, issues from childhood, and I just don't agree with that at all. Sometimes we just have to let things be as they are. Nobody knows the mystery of astrology, why it works, how it works, how it's able to give you a precise timing of life events, and likewise with the draconic, we just don't know uh, what it is exactly. So my philosophy is it's best to just leave it at that instead of trying to define it and trying to force a square into a round hole. What I'd like to do is show you, using my own chart, how to keep it real simple if you want to analyze the draconic with the natal. And so I'll do that with my chart right now. You know, the first thing we always do when we're looking at any chart is any planets that fall on the angles of the horoscope are going to demand attention front and center. And so in my particular horoscope, you can see that the sun is conjunct the midheaven. So we know it's going to be important. Now, we want to find one to three major aspect configurations in the natal chart. That's the first thing we want to do. So we know the sun is angular. And the sun, or I should say the first aspect, is Neptune square sun, square the natal sun in the natal horoscope. The second aspect of importance would be the opposition of Uranus in the fourth opposed Mercury in the 10th, and that falls in angular houses, and that's the spine of my horoscope. And the third aspect configuration would be natal Venus in Pisces square the moon in Gemini. So those are the three major aspect configurations in the natal. And that's what we want to focus on when we're going to put the draconic chart on the outer wheel and the natal on the inner wheel. So I'm going to move on to part two to keep the videos short. Thank you.